If your teacher were to give you a map of the United States in the 1800s, this is what it would look like. Missionaries from the east headed west looking for Native Americans to convert to Christianity. These missionaries had several hazardous, difficult landscapes to overcome. The first missionaries were to west two couples, Marcus and Marissa Whitman and Henry and Eliza Spalding. The Spaldings were much more accomplished than Marcus and Nerissa, but the Whitmans went through many things in their life that were important aspects to the Spaldings that led to the baptism of the first chief in history. Nerissa Princeton was born in 1808 in Prattsburg, New York. Nerissa was born into a devout Presbyterian family. Her life was devoted to her religion. At 16, she pledged her life to missionary work. She went on completing her education. She became a school teacher. She taught as a school teacher at a primary school in Prattsburg, expecting to fulfill her pledge. She moved to Belmont, New York with her family in 1834. Marcus Whitman was born into Rushville, New York in 1802. There he studied to be a local doctor. He received his degree from a medical college in Fairfield, New York. He practiced medicine in Canada for four years, then returned to New York. He became an elder in Presbyterian Church there. Nerissa and Marcus both lived very different lives. He studied as a doctor, then returned to the church. As for her, she lived all her life the Presbyterian way. Marcus then journeyed to Oregon to make a reconnaissance of potential mission sites in 1836. Soon, Nerissa had also volunteered at the American Board of Commissioners for Foreign Missions. This group was a Protestant group, mission group for the Indian people. The board, however, didn't approve of sending unmarried women on the missions. After Marcus met Nerissa, he spent a weekend with her family. The couple, who may have had a passing acquaintance before, agreed to be married, and the board, in turn, offered them positions as missionaries. The Whitmans journeyed into the unknown with another couple, Henry and Eliza Spaulding. Henry and Eliza Spaulding set up a mission to the Nez Perez with the Lapois. Then they started west with the Whitmans, Marcus and Nerissa. The couples traveled with the traders for most of the long journey. Nerissa and Eliza were then known as the first white women to cross the Rocky Mountains. Then the Whitmans set up with the Walla Tapo on the Walla Walla River in 1836 to bring Christianity to the Cayus Indians. The Indians then got struck by a deadly measles epidemic in 1847. Measles were a very deadly, very contagious disease, usually spread by nose, mouth, and throat drippings of an infected person. The Cayuse Indians blamed the Whitmans and attacked, murdering Marcus and Nerissa, along with 12 other people. Henry and Eliza Spalding went on without the Whitmans and they were far more successful than the Whitmans. Eliza and Henry were the first ones to ever convert a chief to Christianity. The Nez Perce tribe lived in a large area that present day in western Idaho, southeast Washington, and northeast Oregon. They were neighbors of the Chaos and the Walla. Eliza and Henry entered their tribes not knowing what was going to happen. Eliza and Henry Baptist Chief Joseph. They were the first ever to convert a chief. The West was a dangerous place for Americans. As you can see, the chaos caused dangerous happenings with the Whitmans. The Spaldings encountered hard tasks such as mountains, uncooperative Indians, and the loss of their good friends. Life as a missionary wasn't easy, but that was the basis of our religion today.